Hey, how's it going, everyone? This video is mainly for beginners who are coming in Substance Painter and don't know how to use it too well. Um, it basically teaches you a quick guide of how to, you know, put materials onto certain parts of your mesh. What you have here is all your stuff on the left. So you got, you know, your alphas, um, those I might show in another video, grunges, procedurals, textures, hard surface. Those are my normal maps of normals. Skins, so these materials with skins in it. Um, filters, brushes, yeah, I love that. With, with um, Substance Painter, what you usually want to do is create a folder. And in that folder, you want to add a smart material. So let's add, so this is the map two model for you. Um, let's think, what should I apply? Let's, let's put, I'm not sure if you guys have machinery, but yeah, I put machinery onto it. You, what you'll see is that in, that folder has applied the material to the whole thing. So that entire material set of UV set. <clears throat> if you want that material selected on certain parts of the mesh, you use a black mask. So in that folder, add a black mask. The whole thing will go away. And you have these things here, paint. Um, paint basically, oh, that's symmetry as well. Click symmetry if you want it on both sides equally. If you don't, if you want it to be you know, non-symmetrical, don't, but usually symmetry is a good idea. So with paint, you can start painting the detail on, and what you'll see is the material is applied to that paint mask. You can paint here if you want. You can then erase it. So yeah. Um, but if you create here, or you click here, it's polygon fill. You have triangle fill, which will select a triangle. Polygon fill, which will apply it to a polygon. You have mesh fill, which will apply it to the whole mesh. And you have UV chunk. UV chunk is good because you can then just apply it to that UV chunk there and there you go, it's just applied to that there. Now, the benefits of putting a folder onto the black mask instead of just putting a black mask onto that is now I can, where is it? Yeah, smart masks. You can apply a smart mask onto that there. So if I do, where is it? Any will do really. Dust occlusion. That has then applied a mask onto that material there inside of this mask as well. So now you've got your dirt level. You can basically change how it's acting on here. So if you wanted a sort of, you know, a mask with just that one material on, there you go apply a black mask onto it with another black mask onto the folder. You know, there's lots of different stuff you can apply to it. Um, and the benefits of that are, now you can put another material on. So I could do one underneath. And that's applied you know, a material on underneath that material, but that's got a mask on, so it acts as a sort of, you know, creates some variation, basically. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's the basics of black masks. Um, they're very helpful. So create a folder, select what you want. So create a folder, select the UV um, chunk, Create a material, 
you can add a black mask onto the material to make to give there a bit of variation onto it add more materials underneath or on top um, usually if you want variation onto a material you put it on top of another material so if I change that around it just gets rid of it so yeah it's a pretty good idea you put that underneath something with a mask so put a main material the variation material and a folder and that's basically the yeah beginner's guide to using masks inside of substance painter um yeah i mean that's that sort of thing it really um hopefully explained it well hopefully people are just learning how learning substance painter learned a bit or learned something quite useful if it did please let me know um all the people leaving comments in my previous videos really helped me make more videos i think i've got two videos already recorded for you guys so this will be the first one that comes out um i did want to say though i think i'm coming up to around 50 subs which is pretty decent for a few months um yeah happy all the guys have subscribed to me thank you so much um because of this if i get to 100 subs by the end of february i will be releasing a free base mesh for you guys um male or female let me know um but i'll be releasing a base mesh for zbrush so what I'll be doing is releasing a free low poly base mesh for you guys. When I hit 100 subs by end of Feb, if I get to that point, one of these male or female will be released to you. It's completely UV, so the head's got UVs, body's got UVs, hands, the legs, all really good. It's got nails. Eyelashes, you know, teeth, tongue, everything you need in a base mesh for you. Um, you can then divide it. It's pretty well, pretty, you know, decent. So yeah, if I get to 100 subs by the end of February, I will be releasing this for free for you guys. So yeah, um... I'm hoping that Substance Painter video was helpful. Please let me know if it was in the comments. Um, if there's any videos you want me to do, please let me know. I'm happy to make a video on anything you want. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope your modelling goes well, texturing goes well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So, yeah, thanks. Bye.